<laughs> so Colleen, you are uh, our member of the month for November. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and so uh, we're just going to kind of ask you a few questions uh, and let everyone get to know you a little better. Okay. So for uh, what's your usual class time? Uh, 8.30 in the morning. We usually get here Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We shoot for three days a week. Don't always make it, but... Maybe traveling or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we travel quite a bit lately. <laughs> nice. Awesome. And then you like your 8.30 or 8.30 crew? We do. The, we joke around and call it the master's group, but <laughs> we have a good time. <laughs> y'all are y'all are a fun class to coach, I'll tell you that. You, uh, you, I don't know if fun would be the word. <laughs> well, it, you're, there's never a dull moment right. with your class. Right. It's, a, uh, it's always exciting. I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into, and it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Yeah. That's a great group. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, how long have you been coming to TCF and doing CrossFit? I think it's probably been about seven years, and it, we've always, TCF is the only CrossFit place that we've ever come to. We didn't really work out before, so mm -hmm. but, yeah, it's nice. been about seven. I know when y'all travel a lot, uh, I know I've seen you and Carl come in with plenty of like drop-in shirts. We do. Is, yeah, do you like kind of the dropping in to other boxes? We do. Wherever we go, we try and find a CrossFit gym if there's one nearby. If we have time, we'll work out. And that's a great thing about CrossFit is they always welcome us. They're mm -hmm. you know encouraging and still even at a different box. It was a little intimidating when we first started doing it, but everybody's been really nice. We've been to Germany, Iceland. Yep. How is a, the class in, in like a foreign country versus a class here? Is it, is it like a big difference or is it? No, it was really the same. I mean, we thought Germany would be, you know, real tough and, but it kinda was. Like in your face. The, yeah, kind of <laughs> in your face, but no, they were very helpful and yeah, it was a great, yeah, very, all about the same. They were good, so. That's awesome. And it's, it's, that's what another, like you were saying, a good, great thing about CrossFit that you can go into uh, all the different gyms drop in and still have a very similar experience. Yep. Yep. Um, you go in there and show them up, right? You show them that how how good people here at TCF are. Yes, right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're uh, impressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go in there, show show off your skills. Yeah. Uh, but what initially brought you to TCF and brought you into CrossFit? Wayne and Amy, Mass and Guild. They had started it probably about seven, eight months before us, and kept saying, "You got to come, you got to come." And there was an open house one night that they were trying to get new more recruits in and so Amy encouraged us to come persuaded us we came out of friendship said okay we're gonna go but we're not doing this we're not we're, we're not CrossFit people we're not weightlifters uh -huh. and we came that night and we've been coming ever since we just got hooked just kind of got hooked with it and love it so it was just Wayne and Amy they just kept they just yep they just didn't let up at all they and didn't. then one night you just kind of finally were like all right all right we'll do it <laughs> yeah get the, yep <laughs> nice and so what was it that kind of uh, kind of brought you over the edge rather than Wayne and Amy itself like what about it kind of convinced you that it wasn't like the the uh, all the weightlifting and when we change your mind about it I think just that it was something that we could do we th always thought you know there was a stigma that you had to be tough and and all and we liked that it was something different we could come in and it was a different workout every time it was almost like a personal trainer because you always had a coach or somebody there working with you and watching you and making sure that you didn't get hurt mm -hmm. and helping you with your skills to get better. Nice. Yeah. So you like the constantly varied uhness about it? Yes. And then you like uh, the being coached and being yes, taught being in the taught, classes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good to make sure you're moving uh, well enough uh, and, and trying to improve on that movement each right and every yeah. day. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's most important. Yes. Um, so how is it working out with your family? So you, uh, you and your husband come, and then you also have your daughter Christy coming. Comes, yeah. Um, it's great. We keep each other motivated. We keep each other coming. You know, if one of us in the morning says, ah, did you see the workout? I don't know if I want to go. We'll be like, you know, now nah, we could do it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, we, we'll get to see Wayne. We'll see Amy. And Christy's going, so we better go. You know, if we don't go, Christy won't come, so. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, it's, it's like a motivating, it's like, if they're going, then okay, I gotta kind of yeah. go. It's always easier to go when you know you've got somebody there that's waiting there or that you're going to meet, so. Yeah, yeah. kind of like the community aspect the about community, it. Right, right. And if it's, maybe it's a, uh, something that you need to work on, it's, a, it's a, a little bit more motivating when you have somebody to work on it with you. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. awesome. So what... So you talked about how starting CrossFit, it was about the constantly varied workouts, the uh, being taught, uh, kind of the community and all that uh, that uh, brought you into it. 
what kind of keeps you coming back? Um, just the, the, I don't know what, how you could say, we, we've built a lot of confidence in it. We, none, neither of us were ever athletes before. We didn't do anything. I mean, maybe tried aerobics, tried yoga, but just we've gotten so much stronger and to see what we can do, what we've gotten better at, keeps us coming and knowing that it's good for us. So <laughs> at this stage in our lives, we know that we have to, you know, keep our muscles strong, keep our bones strong, and so, mm -hmm. and it's the most fun. It's way better than going and walking on a treadmill for an hour. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty easy to be a little bit more fun than that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like you, so, that's great and you, that you all know you need to keep moving and kind of keep your health up right. uh, so that you can kind of keep being uh, functional so do all your traveling and all that as you get wiser right and, <laughs> um, and then also the like the improvements what what improvements have you seen um, endurance strength um, that first night that Amy brought us here and they were we had to run around the building one time I couldn't do it I couldn't make oh, it around really? the building one time. We had to walk it. Yep. Um, couldn't do a pull up, not even with a big green band. And just, you know, as long as long as as long as we've been doing it, we've you know, now we don't dread the run. We don't dread doing anything. It's we can we can do it now. So we know we've gotten stronger. We know we've yeah. improved our health. It's always the the small improvements. The mm -hmm. things that people like I mean, it's not always the the heavier barbell or something like that. So the you maybe not getting as tired going up the stairs right. or you can run around the building. I always love when you when there's running the workout, you and Carl always seem to run together. We try <laughs> and stay together. <laughs> That's <laughs> he'll awesome. He'll say he'll wait for me or I'll wait for him just you know, or he'll say, Don't leave me behind <laughs> <laughs> Just wait up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's your uh at, for over your seven years doing CrossFit, what's your favorite movement? You know, I thought, I've been thinking about that. I don't think I have a favorite movement. Maybe the ones that challenge me the most that I can't do because I feel like I'm gonna get better at it. I wanna do it, I wanna be able to do toes to bar. I wanna be able to do different things. So when that's in the workout, I get excited because I'm like, okay, I get to work on it or I may get to, you know, do better at it. Something that I can do. The ones that I can do, you know, it's just normal. Mm -hmm. But the ones that are challenging are probably yeah, the almost ones get that you a little bit get more. more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Is there one thing that so you kind of mentioned toes bar? Uh, is there like one movement that you are really striving to work towards? Like one thing that you got that by the end of 2019 you really want this movement, or by the end of 2020 you really want this movement? Um, there's probably several that I'd like to <laughs> be able to do, but toes to bar has always been one that I've strived to get to. And before my surgery, I could do maybe one or two, mm. but um, that's something that I want to kind of work, back, work towards back towards where you were and get a little bit further. Yep. yep. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, we talked about the improvements that you saw within the gym. What are some of the positive impacts you've seen outside of the gym? Like, is there like different things that you may have seen? Uh, like, for example, you talked about how you couldn't run around the building, so maybe that played into maybe just walking around outside like maybe like going around downtown or something like that and you got exhausted was is, is there something that is there big positive impacts that you've seen probably that I have more energy and more like I say more endurance and just keeping up with the grandkids trying to do things with them not be just a sit around Nana to be able to go and do the things with them this past weekend we went to Washington DC and we rode five miles on a bike through Washington DC to go see all of the attractions and everything. And it was, you know, I, I worried about it at first, but it was a piece of cake because we had the endurance and the energy and, the and energy all that to do that. Yeah. Nice. And then, uh, is there, uh, so you, the kind of increased energy, is there anything else maybe that you've, uh, seen like a big positive impact? Probably my confidence, um, that I can do this stuff. Um, I'm not afraid to go and do any of it. No, no, not. You kind of know that, like stuff that you've done in here, kind of translates outside mm -hmm. of the gym. You're not as like wary or anything right. like that. Yeah. Nice. Um, what is the biggest accomplishment that you've seen inside the gym? For me, that I've accomplished, mm -hmm. um, I think probably the rope climb. 
and cut. I can't do it right now, but I'm going to get back to it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, when I could, not only just the strength to, to get up there, but the height. You know, I was real nervous in the beginning. I'd get halfway up and I'd get anxious about the height. But So it was a, a hurdle for me to jump. But when I got that, Christy got it first, and so I had to. You had to show I her had up. To, yeah. I had to do it too. So. <laughs> You'd be like, all right, my daughter can do it, so now I got to do it. That's there's right. no, There's no excuses. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, and then you mentioned, uh, well, you kind of mentioned like you used to be able to do these things and all that, and that was before your surgery, correct? Mm -hmm. So how has CrossFit kind of helped you? Well, first, kind of what what was your surgery that you had? I had um, spine surgery. It was, they called it a laminoplasty. Um, I, had, I was born with a narrow spinal column and didn't know it, but just as age and time went on, my spinal cord became compressed and was damaged from the bone squeezing my spinal cord. So um, I was losing feeling in my arm. I had a lot of pain in my shoulders and they thought it was just muscle. They, because I was perfectly healthy, I was doing CrossFit. I, you know, do ballroom dancing, run after my grandchildren. And so they thought it was just muscle. And so I did physical therapy for three months. It wasn't getting better. so finally had an MRI and when they saw my MRI the I went to three different doctors and they all were amazed that I was not in a wheelchair they said with the injury to my spinal cord the way it looked the compression that I shouldn't be able to walk so it was, it was just that like tight on your nerves it was squeeze yeah it was squeezing the spinal cord so my spinal cord was damaged it had um, it was injured and um, so the only thing they contribute to me being able to walk is that I was doing CrossFit and I was so active that the muscles were strong and were comp overcompensating for that. So, because my first intention to them was, did I do this to myself with CrossFit? And they said, absolutely not. It was, it's, I was born with it and doing CrossFit is what kept me walking. From like going even further. Yeah. So, Ooh. yeah. Dang. Yeah. So it's a testament to, that's why I say when you say, you know, what are the benefits from CrossFit? What do I see? It's just being stronger and keeping your body healthy and your muscles strong, which, so that was, CrossFit is really, it saved me from being in a wheelchair and not being able to walk. Holy crap. That's. It's amazing. That's, isn't yeah, it? that's crazy. And yeah. so it it's crazy how something just like a every, everyday ritual coming into the gym and I just kind of going through your workout, kind of enjoying yourself here can have so much of a positive impact and I mean really help out tremendously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then ooh. How I, dang. I didn't know it was <laughs> to that extent. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you're not to, at that point. I'm glad that we can kind of help you with that. Right. Um, and then how has CrossFit helped you kind of get back into uh, kind of moving around all that after your surgery? It's helped me recover faster. The doc, um, they think that, that, you know, doing it is helping my mother. They had to, um, you know, all my muscles were cut back there when they had to do this to open up my spine. Mm -hmm. um, and so just getting my muscles back strong again and recuperating and recovering from the surgery. Um, the, the CrossFit exercises have helped with that. And being able to like m make sure the muscles fire properly and are kind right. of slowly strengthening yep. back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Muscle memory back. Yeah. That's awesome. I know, you know going overhead is always fun. It's always an uh, exciting time trying to figure out how you're feeling that day and all yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. It depends on how my hand is working. I have some residual numbness and um, weakness in my left hand, so I don't want to drop anything on my head. Mm -hmm. No, no, we so, don't want you to yeah. hurt yourself. We don't want anything to happen yeah. to your neck or anything yeah. like that. But it's the surgery was at the end of February, so I feel like what I'm doing is I'm getting, I'm recovering quickly. And kind I of making your way, like you were talking about, kind of making your way back, back to, to what you were able to do beforehand. Before. Right. And I would say I'm probably seventy percent. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a short amount of time. I mean mm -hmm. February to now. That's, I mean, yep. probably didn't work out necessarily like the a month or two. About two months, yeah, about mm -hmm. eight weeks before I could get back into the gym and do some. 
So, I mean, you've been in the, month, the gym for about like six months and you're already kind of back to 70%, 60, yeah. 70%. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, I can't wait to see what you're doing next February. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll be getting toes of bar on the rig. I hope so. <laughs> awesome. And then uh, to finish out the interview, uh, what it would be your walkout song? So if you came in the gym at your 8.30 class, what song would you want blasting over the speakers? Probably Firework by Katy Perry. Firework? Or you just come in, fireworks shooting all over yeah, the place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, Colleen, it was great to talk with you, sit down and talk with you. Um, and thank you again for say, to taking the time to sit down and talk with me. And congr congratulations on being the member of the month. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah.